Hi everybody, I'm doing um, a video on cleaning your sewing machine. We may not have the same machine, but I do have um, a brother, this is what I have the, for this machine, one of mine, and I'm going to clean inside here. And the importance of cleaning inside your machine is very important to keep it running um, in good condition. For mine, it came with something like this. This probably should look familiar to you. So you're gonna use this little piece to remove the screws, which I already did. So you'll remove them, and please don't forget which one goes to which, okay? Mine has two. Um, you'll remove this along with your bobbin. Now, take down your presser foot. And then this, I have to wiggle it out. It doesn't come out so easy. Um, but don't, it's not about strength, so you don't break it, but just kind of wiggle it out carefully or however yours may be. I know mine, I have to wiggle it. Okay, and then set that aside. And this is, if you can get closely and you can see um, how dusty and the thread and the lint over time. Now I knew it was time to clean my machine because um, I was feeling it when I was sewing. So you can remove the needle if you want to. I don't and it's okay. So I'm going to dust off everything around it. So as I use this little brush that I'm sure your machine came with, I just go around it and it, it picks it up quite nicely and I just toss it or set it aside. Um, sometimes I've seen where they recommend something like this um, to use and you would connect the little red nozzle and you spray the heck out of it. I don't suggest to do that. Because what it does, it just pushes everything away where you can't see and clean it. And I just, I've never done it that way and I don't suggest you do it that way for your sewing machine. So anyway, so I'm going to come around here and continue taking out the lint and dust. Now, once you've done a really good job, I'm doing a rush job here. So I don't want to take too long in the video, but once you clean it really well around it, and if you see, I have a lot of stuff on mine. Um, here is the bobbin casing. Please, please, please take note how it looks before you remove it. Take a picture, I would suggest, actually. I've done this so many times that I don't, but as a beginner, I would take a picture um, just to make sure that it looked exactly the way it was before I put everything together. On mine, there is an arrow. You see that? And then there's this little black um, stopper here. So I know this is it. So when I put back my little casing for the bobbin, I know that this arrow, I'm gonna line up to this dot right here. Okay, it's a mental note that I make. So I'm gonna remove this. Once I remove it, if you take a closer look in there, look how dirty and dusty it is, okay? Underneath the bobbin casing. So then you would come around in a circular motion. Look at that. It does not belong here. But this machine, I, I use like a workhorse. So it works really well. But I know I've been neglecting it. You'll see the difference when you're done cleaning your machine and you put it back all together. Um, and I'll just runs very smooth this can also be cause for your skip stitches your machine um, in the back of your threads bunching up just by making sure um, if you don't clean it I mean then you you won't get good stitches okay so mine was filthy not as filthy as it I thought it was but it was dirty Okay, and don't forget to clean your feed dogs as well with the brush here. Okay. Now, I have got this question before 
about oiling the machine. I've never oiled my machine. I've had this one. This is one of my newer ones, but I've had this one for a couple years now. Um, and I don't oil it anywhere. I'm, to be honest, I don't know if um, you should. It doesn't say in the manual, but I'm sure that sometimes when you take it to a place to clean it, and they'll charge you, you know, $100, $75. And perhaps they do oil it. I'm not really sure. If you do, let me know. Comment below. If not, this is the way I've done it for years. Never paid anybody. Done it myself. Okay. This is pretty good. Pretty quick. All right. So now I'm going to give the casing a good brushing. And if you see, it doesn't really take that long. But those three, four, five minutes that it takes to clean it, will make a difference once you there we go okay now I'm gonna put everything back so I'm gonna remember where I oops there we go looks good to me oh and then you can clean it back here sometimes it's dusty mine was okay and then we'll put it back. Again, I have to wiggle mine. Never about strength. Don't force it in. Because then you'll break it and then not good. And while you're doing this, make sure that your machine is off. And um, disconnect it from the power source. Just to be safe. Okay, so now I lock this back into place. Okay. Then... You would get your screws, and then you'll hand do that just a little bit. You'll then come and use the existing um, one that you took the um, screws off. And instead of going counterclockwise to unwind, you're going to go clockwise, and this is going to um, tying up the screws on both so here on the bottom and up here once these are tightened then you can go ahead and put your bobbin your cover and your presser foot and you guys are good to go thanks for watching